Hi there, uh, so I'm just doing a bit of a video for this oak leaf. I actually would like to finish it in this video, so there might be some time lapse. Um, I think I've pretty much done everything. Sun's gone in, it's gone dark. Sorry if this is a bit dark for you guys. Um, <sighs> the weather is very unusual um, at the moment still. I just never see anything like it for Spain in June really weird we had some thunderstorms as well an epic thunderstorm um, which was just it was like being in a rave it was like paparazzi you know but it was just so out of season it's just we don't get that at this time of year so very strange weather Anyway, I'm going to do a bit of the oak. I want to wrap it up because I want to focus on the blue flower and I've got some berries that I want to do. Um, I have still got the cabbage leaves to do. I haven't forgotten, but it's just I'm not really feeling it, if I'm honest, at the moment. I've only got the large drawing and I'd rather do something smaller. Um, yeah, I've got some images of the one I use for leafscape, but I'd rather not do a leaf twice if that's possible um anyway i'm just mixing up a green um okay and i'm just going to go through the whole the whole leaf uh trying to work out you know which bits need to be darkened and which don't this needs darkening but that's the wrong green that i've just mixed <sighs> typical uh, have i got another brush here i've got this one um yeah this really needs darkening. So I put some water on there. Uh, sorry about the banging. That's, guess what, next door again. Uh, I wish they'd fix their door. But part of me quite likes the fact they have it because it's one of those old fashioned doors where it splits in the middle, like a stable door, which is quite cute actually. They're talking about me, Ija and Libro. I'm going to shut my, I'm going to have to shut and stop. Sorry people, I'll carry on in a minute. What's really funny is I'm finishing this in the dark. <laughs> I don't want them to knock on my door because I'm in the middle of recording. I do this a lot by the way. <laughs> Okay, um, I just had to sort this bit out in the dark. I'm going to zoom in uh, so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> I just put a layer here. That's hilarious. I do do this. I've got like these little shutters on my door, which means I can just shut up, you know, little Hansel and Gretel. I think they think I'm very, very English here because I... I'm not as social as I'd say Spanish people are. Um, right, I've got several different greens made up, but I'll just stick to this one for now. Okay, so I'm going, I'm sorry if it's out of focus, but it's because I've, I've got the brush very upright to do very thin lines. Yeah, they were trying to work out my paintings and usually I bring them in, the neighbours, but I, I couldn't because I've got this cat and it'll run out the front door. So I I um, brought over a, a leafscape book so they can look at that instead. But the problem is here, it's kind of sad, but a lot of people, A, can't read. Most of, the, most of that generation here, the older generation can't read, um, but also they can't really see. <laughs> um, it's <laughs> it's a bit of a problem you have to be very careful driving on some of the roads in the villages around here because we've all got cataracts 
and if it the sun's setting well my friend Roberta was knocked off the road uh, last an Octo October a couple of years ago because somebody was just driving on the wrong side of the road because they couldn't actually see uh, where they were going because they were driving into the sun um, yeah so as you can see this is another shade of green it doesn't match the other shades uh, it's kind of a more lurid green uh, I quite like this because it's it's sort of bringing the leaf to life a bit because it's a bit ready the green that I've used previously but those red layers will shine through still which is quite nice so just doing that green all the way up to have that continuity and it's here and here probably should put a bit here as well I might do a light wash of it actually I know this is supposed to be quite um, crisp those veins should stand out more but I want that green up there so that's a bit of whoops artistic license on my part um, yeah I might just put some some of these greens in here so you can see after a few layers a few she says it's been I don't know how many installments we've done of this leaf now but it starts to come together um, is this even in focus I got something on my lens it doesn't look very focused to me um, great news people I have a new phone coming uh, yeah because um, my parents are obviously currently in England I was supposed to go to England uh, next week summer solstice I booked my flight um, in fact no probably even now because I should have been there for the summer solstice um, and I cancelled it because my mum my mum needed to do the move she's moved she sold her house so she's packing up her flat in five days because of Brexit and because of Covid it's just been an absolute nightmare as you can imagine moving house across countries um and um yeah so they've quite kindly gone into the phone shop for me and done it because i can't do it and it's a british phone contract i do have a spanish phone as well but i actually only have the contract not the phone if that makes sense it's just a sim card um yeah and uh I don't particularly want a Spanish keyboard or everything to be in Spanish on the phone. I mean, probably I should do really, but I'm not quite, I'm not quite there yet. So um, it's just good news because it means a better lens for filming, and I'm not, and I don't have a smashed screen. <laughs> yeah. So great news. So they're out there for a while. They're back, I think, 26th of June. Um, yeah. It's all a bit crazy because, of course, they, they actually do the exchange on the house and then they've got nowhere to live for a few days during a pandemic. They've had one dose of the vaccine, but that's not enough. One, we've As we've seen from what happened in Chile and, and actually in some cases in England, one dose isn't really enough actually one of my friends here's got covid and he had one dose he's ill but he's not like mega ill um because the, the vaccine has helped a bit but he is he's still poorly so it doesn't you need both definitely anyway um sort of digressing as you can see just putting more of this green in feeling i mucked it up a bit here but um sort of trying to rescue it I don't feel I did the layers quite right there Over, overworked it a bit um, it's a bit of an odd bit of the leaf because that kinks in it kinks down in here um, when it kind of goes up 
I think what I need to do is probably a very crisp line on the um, on the actual vein. I'm going to just rotate this slightly. Sorry, but that needs to go up because it's it's sort of yeah. I'll muck this up a bit. Never mind. Okay. Well and truly mucked up. The thing is, is it's actually a bit of an odd section of the leaf. Because it's a sort of slight undulation in the middle there. Um, yeah, so it's just a question of kind of covering it up with the last layer, but I'm making this last layer more yellowy. Um, yeah, this has gone way too blue here, but it's blue because I wanted it to be dark, but it, it, it has gone too blue, so I'm just going to put that paint over here to just lighten it up. It looks a bit lurid to begin with but it should dry not so bright. I'm going to put a bit of perylene maroon in there. It's a bit bright. Yeah that perylene maroon worked nicely. You can hear me doing that with my, that's me with my brush. I, I attack my brushes. I don't just wipe them gently on the, on the kitchen roll. I bang the table with them. I, this is why I get through brushes at a rate of knots. And I'm painting quite quickly now. not slow um, but that just comes I think with confidence you might not be able to do it quite as quickly I just sort of get I just it's just to me coloring in and getting the patterns in and doing this as fast as possible let's blend that off with some water I need to blend that off with some water as well some perilene maroon in there. Okay, I'm going to let that dry now, I've overworked it a bit. Um, I might just go to the next bit down, so we're on this half of the leaf. So this section now. Doesn't really need much work. I might just put some of this yellowy mix that I've got down. Almost like a kind of greeny gold. It doesn't really need it, to be honest. It's it's dark enough. Just blend the edge. 
I'm doing this so that it matches this colour. And it also makes these look a little bit more individual, these little islands, if you don't have them all exactly regimented the same. So I'm just doing little bits, bits of yellow in different sections of the island so that it looks different. We do actually have a little indentation here. And here. So I'm going to put them in. You see how I've done that there? So you've got this up and down. See how this leaves? It's, I'm really pleased with how it is. Look, if I zoom out, you can see how these yellowy layers are really helping. It's quite dark in here. Let me open the other shutter. See if that helps. My help with it. Yeah, that's a bit better. Yeah. So yeah, it's it the oak leaf really just does respond to layers of paint. That's not quite dry yet because I've got ox gall in the water. Something else I forgot that I've done, so I need to just be aware of that. I might just smooth that off a bit. It's a bit harsh, crispy line. Just put, put that yellow there. This sort of yellowy perilini maroon mix with a dash of blue is very nice for oak leaves. It's quite an earthy green, but yet a bit sappy as well. You don't need much blue on this last layer. The reason I don't put that down first is because I can't, it kind of just makes everything just glow if you put the yellow down last. Um, I know not every artist does that. That's kind of a bit... It's a bit um, green, that. There we go. Um, just going to go over and make... That vein there was hardly visible. Um... So I'm just going in again to just make that a bit more visible. And I will probably go over with a knife, although not too much, because like this bit, I don't want the veins to be that white. So the, this bit's more of a knife area. Um, because when you do the knife, it does make the, the vein white. And you can't paint it in afterwards because it's removed the sizing on the paper. So knife work is really for white veins. Um, I'm not going to put all the, uh, I put uh, like a wash, I've watered my brush down to just bring that yellow across because it is kind of whitish in areas, you know, a pale green. It's not yellowy green all over, just in some places. So just being a bit careful about that. I've just tried to make a bit more blue there. I am going to do it here, just on the edge, just so. I'll tell you what, all they've done all day today, next door, I've gone to each other's houses. It's so funny. It's so Spanish. And talk. It's all I can hear is people talking all day. It's so funny. Because, I mean, the village does sort of come to life in the summer months. There's always this chitter-chatter. Um which is fine, but it does annoy me sometimes because it's at, they usually choose my door to talk outside. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know why I tell myself it's because I've got nice plants outside. <laughs> so it's sort of like the, pre the prettiest house in that, in that respect. Well, I'm just putting another layer down there. And it's fine, but if you're in the upstairs bedroom where I usually sleep in the winter, 
All I can hear is them talking, which is why I go underground. Also, it's cooler underground. So I, I'm already down underground now. Moved down early this year. Usually I don't do that until July. Um, but yeah, I, th I, th I moved because there was a mosquito in my bedroom and I was like, I really couldn't be bothered to, to try and find it at two o'clock in the morning. And I hate that noise. So I just moved. <laughs> I just moved my bedroom. I was like, I'm just going now because... So I was booted out of my bedroom by a mosquito, which is quite funny. Right, so I'm just doing these bits, making them darker. Ooh, should polish them out before they dry. Whoopsie. Just using plain water, dirty water really, just to get that edge gone. Whoopsie. This is quite a soft brush, so it's not really going very quickly. I'm going to just put some paint in there, actually. It's a bit light Let's wash that down notice that when i'm painting i i avoid the vein i just sort of paint so the vein's already been painted in with another wash, so it isn't bright white, but it's a lighter colour. And I'm just very careful to just avoid that. I don't go all the way up, because if I go all the way up, obviously it's going to bleed out um, and go into the next section, and I really don't want that to happen. This bit needs detailed work. This is a wet brush of water. Oh, it's so funny. I did all my hair up for this lesson in Moklin. And you know that I like to put my paintbrush behind my ear when I'm not using one of the brushes. And because I'd done my hair up, it kept falling. I don't actually have very big ears. They're a bit elfish. Um, so it kept falling falling off. It was so funny. And bloody annoying, actually. It kind of ruined my flow. Just make that a bit crisper, that edge. And then soften it up. I might go around with the pencil at the end to just make sure that these are really all crispy edges. It needs to be a bit darker so it looks like it joins up. I can't believe how autumnal it is out there today. It's just weird. I've had to put a jumper on. <laughs> Unbelievably. Right. And then there's that one. And then that needs bringing up a bit closer. It's too fat, that vein there is too fat. So I'll just... Bleed that out, it's too dark now on that side. There we go. Okay, so the dark side is always on the left because the sun, the light's coming from this direction. Okay.
just putting in some extra veins and details because these panels are a bit wide. There we go. Let that dry. So as you can see, a lot of it is just an optical illusion of. Um, as long as you know which direction the light's going, you can just invent your vein, your vein pattern. Um, obviously don't go off piece, you, you know the general vein pattern of, a, of an oak leaf. Just vaguely stick to it, um, just making some green. Um, but don't go, yeah, don't go nuts off piece, but it, you can, yeah, you can still stick to a pattern. Oh, wow, man, the paint's getting really wet, and so my green is just not what I want it to be. Um, uh, I've lost all the detailing here from putting that wash down. Messed up here. Sorry, really zoomed in and I didn't realise. So I'm just trying to put that back in. I'm going quite dark now in these areas where it's not actually probably that dark, but I'm doing it because it makes the leaf look more dramatic and three-dimensional softening the edges again Okay, um, notice my brush goes very upright again as usual when I'm doing the thin lines and then when I'm softening out it goes more flat, chisel like. Just reading in that dark line. I was, I was going to scratch this out because I've knocked up that vein. I might just put a dark line in. Definitely getting there. This is a good leaf. I'm pleased with this. Yeah, that, that should be even darker. It's really popping out that vein. So 
size is that one? I don't know if I've got you in. Yeah, I have. In shot after that last blip. Sorry. It's difficult when you're so zoomed in, knowing where the camera is focusing. Okie dokie. So, this shouldn't be quite as dark. So you have to be a bit careful because if you go like really dark all over it, it just looks really flat again. Um, I do feel like it's a bit dark there and I might have to do a bit of lifting work. We'll see. I won't know until the whole thing's finished. Sorry, I've gone back up here. And this is something I recommend. It's sort of, I'm finishing off the leaf, but there's areas that need a lot of work. But because I'm finishing off, generally, I can tell when I need to go back up quickly to do something. Um, yeah, I'm still not happy with the... Uh, this needs to go darker here. Looking at the picture, there's still a level of darkness that I'm not getting, believe it or not. We need areas of more shadow. I'm just going to put it in. It's difficult here because then it, it does highlight up. This is in the uh, light. There's this dark patch that kind of goes down here. This is why you need to look at the whole leaf towards the end because then you can think, oh, I've knitted too much in an area and there's this whole undulation that I've not, in proportion to the rest of the leaf, that I've not coloured in properly. This is still the dark bit there, so I'm going to go over again. I don't know how many layers we're on now. But yeah, again, with the same pigment that was on the brush for that area. Whoops, gone over the edge a bit there. Must be careful not to do that. And I'm going to go along here. And I'm not even going to blend that out because it's so dark. I just went like that and it's fine. Um... This bit needs doing again. Is this in shot? Yep. I don't think people tend to go this intense with leaves. And I think that's the trick with leafscape, is the amount of paint and the intensity and the contrast between up, uh, convex points and concave points within the leaf because of the way it's been lit with a low light. I'm going in with perylene maroon, just perylene maroon, just like that, just to just do that shadow there. And then I'm gonna just bleed that out with one wipe like that. Spattered at some point there, but never mind. Um, uh, hopefully this is kind of in focus, can you see? How, yeah, just I'm just sorry, I'm just moving it around for me so I can see it in the camera. It's actually a lot darker than what this camera's showing it as. Um, yeah, we've got a dark point here. Uh, I'm just gonna do, oh my god, I think I'm gonna have to do another video. I cannot believe this. I really thought we'd be almost there, but we're not. Um, there's a dark bit here. It's already dark, but it's darker, you know, it's just getting getting this darkness, you just gotta keep going over and over and over and over. Yeah, let's sharpen this bit up. And just blend it off with the with the damp brush again, usual technique. And the bit that we've just done. I'm just going to go over. Yep. OK. 
can hear an aeroplane, which is really insane. I haven't had an aeroplane for a very long time. Wow, that's quite low. I wonder if that's taken off at Granada Airport. The Malaga one, or it could be la landing at Malaga, but it's quite low. It's so funny, isn't it, post-COVID, everything just seems so hyper intense. Um, I went out to the beach yesterday because I haven't seen the sea for two years because of COVID and stuff, you know. Um, so I went and it was just so funny. It's just even parking the car just turned into this fear factor. Like, oh, do I park it here? Will I get a ticket? Oh, they've put, they've, they're cutting the trees down so it says don't park, but oh, there's nowhere else to park. And it's just, just this level of anxiety. Have I got my keys? Have I not got my keys? I'm going to get clamped. I've got to get home in time. Cat needs feeding. And to be honest, it kind of ruined the whole entire trip. <laughs> it really did. Um, and that's when I went for a walk in the Resonera and I just thought, you know, I really like just being here. What is that? God, it's super busy in the village. I'm not used to all these noises. It's usually really quiet. Right, can you see how I'm kind of like joining this section up now so it kind of curves in I'm doing that sort of graduation of, of shading as well um, that needs a sharper edge um, Okay, let's do that bit there. Okay, definitely getting there. Okay, so this is a bit more complex here. I've got this really dark bit. This kind of does go in a bit more here, which I didn't do. Got another layer in there. This is actually quite dark. I think I might just put a layer of this dirty yellow over here, like I've been talking about up here. It's too, uh, oops. I might have to use the knife there. It's too blue. I'm going to go over this vein because that's not that yellow. Didn't do these ones. These need to stay white. Mm, that's a bit yellowy, so I'm going to go over that vein there. But not the big ones. I'm being very careful not to do that. This has got a dark bit on that side, on the left side. And then it will peter out like that. I'm going to zoom in for you so you can see what's going on. Um, so this bit's sort of joining up now here. Um, got this bit here that looks very, very wrong. <laughs> Needs some work. Needs a lot of work. Jeez, what the hell have I done here? What on earth? I think I just made this up. Um, <laughs> I can't even see. Well, I'm just going to go over this. I'm just going to go over the whole lot. I'm going to get some pearling. Apologies for that, that motorbike. It's a bit noisy. Yeah, this is quite thick pigment now. It's got a bit of all, everything of the three colours that I tend to choose for, for doing darks. I'm going over the dark with the dark, but I'm not just colouring it all in because I want some sort of veins that... Oh, you can't really see the light so bad. There you go. Can you see? I've gone over with the dark on the dark, but I've avoided patches, so it's blobby like a Dalmatian. Uh, to to suggest the texture 
but it's so dark you can hardly see it but especially when I zoom out you can't see a blooming thing sorry I think it's because it's a cloudy day and the sun's going down but I'm definitely not doing this with a spotlight it's just going to look horrible um, okay so now I'm going over these bits again mm. yeah Do, do, do. This vein goes in. I, I might just colour it in. I might just do it with a bit more of the yellow though. Uh, and probably a bit more of the pearly maroon. So it's sort of a, a brownie colour. So it's just as dark, but it it's a different well, it's not just as dark, but it's a different sh oops, gosh, I just picked something horrible up in my palette. Um a bit of fluff. But it's a brown, so it just sort of distinguishes it from the rest of the leaf. I'll just blend that out that way. And blend it out this way. Hmm. Difficult. This is this difficult bit because it, it it undulates here too, where we've got this darker bit, all of that just goes into a dark abyss. You can't even see that bit of vein. So I'm just going to go with this is Peony Maroon with a bit of the green. So it's making a brown. Um, I never use brown or grey, you know, you mix your own. So, and you always mix your own using the colours that are elsewhere in the leaf. So just blending the edges of that. Um, and then... I'm going to go in with that brown along the darker side of the vein. We've got a bit of an issue there with the spillage. I might try and scuff it off with another brush. I'm going to just turn this around to do that. The reason is, is because I need to be pushed up against that edge. Uh, but you can't. Might have to be in the knife. Damn. Oh no, it's kind of coming loose. Not as much as I'd like, but not bad considering that's been dry for weeks. There we go. And what actually that's done by doing that water there is it's um, softened that brown bit of shadow as well. Just make that go along like that. And then I'm actually going to just bleed that into this. This is supposed to be really dark in here. And I'm going to soften these out too. So these are not white all the way along. They 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 go they go in a bit into this crack. That's a shadow for that bit of vein. Perling maroon, just perling maroon this. Same with this bit of vein, that also disappears. And I'll just soften it off. Uh, does this, this one does a bit as well, but not as much. So I'm using a bit of a lighter version of the brown there not quite as dark. This one is fine but I'm going to put some of that brown there just to um, make it so this is continual continual colour, you know. This is super dark in here but it does need to be a green so I'm going to pick up some blue 
with what I've got on my brush just to well I know that looks like brown that I've put in it isn't it's green um, being careful not to get that little bit in between again leaving these these veins a little bit of a different color just to add that bit of texture in there but I won't go I am going to do that um, so those white lines don't go all the way up even though they do in in reality in terms of they join to that bit of vein um, I I it's in shadow so I'm going to so can you see we've got this bit that's going in this bits in shadow which is great it's just how I want it to be I'm just going to do this bit now this has got a shadow on this side so I'm just putting that, that same colour that I've picked up for here, I'm going to put here. And I'm going to blend it out. make these a bit crisper so they don't look like blobs and they look more like squares um, angular veins because the, that's the thing about the oak tree is the veins are actually quite angular you know they're quite sort of zigzaggy and d d d d d d you know that's the pattern so I'm just putting some texture in here now, knowing that the light's coming this way. This is a very dark bit here, but there are, there's a little square in there. And another one there. I'm just gonna put that in. There we go. I don't know how long this video is. Doesn't tell me. No idea, but I might stop soon because it won't load on my computer otherwise. Oh, is that, that is going to be still wet. I want to colour that vein in. I might just do it. I'm going to get the brown and colour this vein in. It's because it really annoyed me seeing how un, under underpainted this section of the leaf is compared to everything else. Um, notice I blended it out there. There we go. Yep. Uh, great. I'm going to stop the video there because I think I've been going for a while. Um, yeah, and I'm going to zoom out so you can see what's going on. Um, I might just take it off the thing. Um, oh yeah, look, 46 minutes. It's not quite an hour. Yeah, it doesn't, you, it looks a bit overexposed, but I'll take a photo so you can see what's going on. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite overexposed on the camera for some reason. Maybe if I stand away. No, it's still not really. Oh, they. Oh, there you go. That's a bit better. Anyway, I'm gonna have to do another video. Can't believe it. Um, I hope that helped. Um, so you can see how things do come together. You just got to keep putting the layers in. All right. Have a good weekend. Um, and if I can't load this up on this Vimeo, have a good week. <laughs> All right. Bye.